Planet Dolan. From constantly comparing yourself to others to hiding your problems, we count 10 ways you're making your own life worse. Yeah, yeah, what's up, YouTube fans? Spring of the one in the building. How we doing today? And today, guys, I got some crazy new content for your face. So here we go. Number 10. Have you ever seen a photo of someone on Facebook looking so happy and beautiful that you instantly feel like a total garbage can by comparison? When you constantly compare yourself to other people, you end up feeling less important and inferior. The grass is never greener though. So stop comparing your faults to their highlight reels. Nobody is perfect and envy can make you bitter, jealous, and mean. Stop wallowing, take a step back, and make sure you remember you're doing the best you can. Number 9. Imagine if Neil Armstrong stayed in the comfort of his lounge room worrying about what would happen instead of flying a rocket to the moon and changing history. Risks are such an important part of achieving anything. People who don't take risk will continue to stay in their comfort zone, watching all the brave people grabbing all the rewards. Sure, taking leaps is scary, but think about how scary it is staying exactly where you are. Life is short and you won't be young forever, so stop holding yourself back. Number 8. If you've ever been told you're a perfectionist, you might be one of the people with a massive fear of failure. It really sucks when you make a mistake, especially if you disappoint someone or yourself. The fear of getting it wrong can literally stop you from wanting to try again. But learning from your own mistakes is literally the best way to grow and improve. I guarantee all of your heroes have made plenty of mistakes in their life. The only real way you can fail is if you don't try at all. Number 7. If you hang out with negative people, chances are that negativity is becoming a part of you. Take a look at the people you spend most of your time with. Are they the kind of people who you admire? Or do they have terrible attitudes and bad habits that bring out the worst in you? Bad friends or relatives don't want you to be happier or more successful than them. But you can't let them hold you down. One day you're going to realize that you're in control of what and who you choose to surround yourself with. Number 6. We have discovered more than 1,700 planets in the universe. So if you never even left your hometown, maybe it's time to get to traveling. People who don't go out into the world tend to think the world is a tiny bubble that revolves around them. There's nothing wrong with outgrowing your hometown. So get out there and see what the 7 billion other people on earth are doing instead of going to the same coffee shop every day. If you can't see the bigger picture, you're no better than the caveman. Number 5. Hardly anyone does this anymore, but thankfully you're doing it right now. It's the sacred and forgotten art of listening. There's nothing more annoying than people at school who talk through the entire lesson and then ask what the hell's going on at the end. If you don't listen to the people around you, you'll end up being totally naive and ignorant. It's important to hear both the good and bad things people have to say and learn to decide what's right. Number 4. It's no secret that your body does weird things when you're stressed, but when you don't listen to it, you could end up really harming yourself. While it's great to push yourself to achieve things, if your body isn't coping then you need to change your habits. There's only so much a human being can take, and you're the only one who knows your limits. Taking good care of yourself is crucial for a long-term success in life. There's no job in the world that is so important that you should physically suffer doing it. There is a reason why I say take care of yourselves. I do mean it personally. Number 3. Bullies are everywhere, not just in high schools, and you need to know how to identify them as an adult and stand up to them. Pretty much everyone will encounter a bully in the workplace at some point. They thrive on your failures and they can manipulate you mentally. But these people are assholes, and you need to flip the tables because you deserve better. Learn to be assertive and confront their behavior. Let them know it's unacceptable. Make sure they don't continue to get their way. Nobody deserves to be a doormat. Number 2. People with low self-esteem have some pretty genius ways of sabotaging themselves. Take a little fear, add in some self-hatred, and mix it up with comfortable distractions and you have a perfect recipe for a ruthless self-saboteur. We've all experienced it. Whether you've told yourself the person of your dreams is out of your league or you don't see the point in even trying, sometimes life can seem so impossible that the victim complex is the easy way out. Number 1. Probably the most severe thing you could do to make your own life worse is think that you have nobody to talk about your problems. Reaching out is hard, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with leaning on the people around you. Whether it's a teacher, a co-worker, a friend, a helpline, or an online forum, you would want to help your friends if they were down. So let your friends help you. You know what the internet is. You know how to Google things at the very minimum. You've got a whole online network to support you. Guys, do me a favor and always take care of yourselves and the ones you care for. All you have to do is always keep the idea and mindset that you should have some level of empathy and understand other people's pain. Much love and appreciation. Take care, everybody. Peace. For some reason, this is the best place to fight imaginary people and destroy them with fire comebacks. I myself love to flex and gain a lot of confidence in the shower, prepare my well thought out arguments, and then step out of the shower and realize that no, actually, you can't do that because you have zero confidence. Derp.